there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group, and uh, we're here today with Kevin, our Head of Public Relations, and Alex, who is with the Kalamazoo Gazette. And he needs a tour of the basic lab, he wants to learn about us, and I figured in doing this, it'd help us give a basic who we are and what we do for, you know, the viewers at home. So you guys follow along, and we're just going to cover all the basics here. So, this is The Geek Group, front lobby entrance, um, bathrooms, offices, this is a pretty boring part of the building, it's pretty generic, so we'll just move right out here. Old boiler room here, um, that's getting converted into part of our alternative energy research. Um, this is the computer area here, we do a lot with computers. We used to have a computer shop here, but as you can see this is just shut down right now. Um, we moved our computer shop over near campus. Um, we run a, we own a separate company called Applied Nail. And it's a computer shop staffed by Geek Group members, and we use it as a training ground for computer guys among the group. And it's also our only serious profit generator. It's the only thing that we do, aside from basic fundraising, is AI. And AI's purpose is to fix computers and raise money for the Geek Group. All the profits from AI go directly to the Geek Group. So guys get paid and pretty much everything else comes here. And AI is working primarily for college students and home users, you know, end users. We don't do like big business stuff too much. That's that's Secant's world. We don't mess with that because we like to work with real people. Um, but this is our computer workshop, which is going to be overhauled as as part of the ongoing remodel. And this will be just a basic computer lab. And this is our network operations. And there's weird things all over the place, like the dust collection system. And that's our big air compressor back there. And of course, uh, this is Jeff. Um, every project here gets a name. This particular one is a KR351 robot donated by Cooper Robotics. It's worth a small fortune. <laughs> we named it Jeff because the head engineer at Cooper Robotics is named Jeff. So, which is why we also have Kevin and Heather. There's two other robots back there, uh, smaller than that. Then Heather is in charge of the parts department and Kevin is a uh, sales guy. So. They, everything gets a name so we can tell the part. But Project Jeff is the flagship demo for this part of the building. This area is the robotics lab. And we've got Jeff, Heather and Kevin, um, Bert and Ernie are two small robots. We've got the scar arm there, and then Castor and Pollux are the two giant robots that are our lawn ornaments. Okay. So. This mess over there is part of the robotics lab. Right now that's our tool area just had to go into storage because you can see the floor over there is blue. That's epoxy. Um, it's a protective coating we put on the floor. We haven't done it here yet. So this is all getting ripped apart. Next week this will all be totally empty and then we pressure wash and epoxy. We have to do it in areas mm -hmm. and we haven't been able to do it until the heat came up because you can't epoxy a 50 degree floor and you just turn into little balls and roll off. Um, we got the building about a year ago, a year and a half and it was an ink factory for 50 years. So you can imagine the mess. We yeah. spent the first year cleaning, and we set up, the original plan was to do this um, as a, a base of just project building, but because the scope of the group has grown, we're trying to get this into a more professional thing where we'll be able to have the public here. So we have to do all kinds of stuff. We had to put a whole new fire suppression system in, we have to redo the doors, and we have to make it pretty because we want to be able to bring school groups here as well. Now, is all this funded through AI? Or yeah, and private donors. Yeah, private but, donors. Yeah. Oh, you write grants? And... We don't do a lot of grant writing. Mm -hmm. It's, we don't want to get into the grant writing. We've done a little bit. We've gotten support from the Kalamazoo Community Foundation. We've got support from the Gilmore Foundation. All, all the usual things. But we've only just touched on that because we don't want to, we want to stay out of the press, uh, given I'm talking to you, up until very recently, we've been very big on staying off everybody's radar. We want to get it built and get it open and then show the world. But we don't want to tell people, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do that until it's done. That's true. And now we're at the point where we own our own lab, we have the equipment. I mean, there's that thing costs more than a car and your car and his car put together. I mean, we have millions of dollars in equipment. We've got massive amounts of resources and tooling and all that jazz. Now we show it to the world, then we start serious on but our primary goal is to just let people know we're here and show them what we're doing and then get them interested in the e-group and AI. And AI in being a computer shop 
there's a million nonprofits out there holding their hand up. You know, give us money, give us money. We don't want people to give us money. We want to do a service. We're geeks. We fix computers. It's our thing. So this way we can earn our own way and not have to bank and, and suck off the government tip and all that. It lets us do our own thing and that we're good at and compete and you know have competitive pricing and all that. Because it just seems more ethical to us. This is the tool room here, supply area, which is basically a giant walk-in tool chest. Every hand tool you can imagine from simple screwdrivers up to, you ever held a $10,000 wrench? No. Here, check this out. It's pretty cool. We got two sets of these. I got one out. That is a wrench. You know what a torque wrench is? Vaguely. Okay. Uh, well, a regular wrench is just a lever, right? Right. A torque wrench is a, a wrench, but it measures the amount of force that okay. you're putting on it in mm -hmm. foot pounds or kilograms. Yeah, you can see if I grab this and pull here, yeah. the number changes. So that tells me that I have nine point change foot pounds of force. And these measure in different ranges, and you've got three different sizes. And there's an ongoing lab challenge, just a you know, pussy test of you know, grab one and pull the other and see how high the number can be. But those are super, super wrenches. We have two sets of them and we baby them and they're cool. But those were donated and we have improvement and things like that. Just, just sitting here, stuff that hasn't moved yet, uh, is those wrenches, paint sprayers and nuts and bolts and nails and just, ah! But this is all tool area. This is machine shop. So if you need to use a lathe or a mill or, or a drill press or anything like that, we have all the basic tools. And the main focus of this place, of the heat group, is there's a whole world of people out there that are geeks. There's a whole world of people that like to build stuff. I mean, kids that, they're, the best thing about Christmas is first you get really cool things, and two weeks later you get to take them apart and see how they work. There's a million kids out there like that. But they don't have a lot of friends, they're pretty antisocial, and these are the kids that get beat up at homecoming. We're the only place in the world where it's safe. It's okay if you look weird, it's okay if you dress funny, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a place where it's okay to be smart. In a world that celebrates stupid, this is a place that celebrates smart. And it's not about being cool or being popular or any of that jazz. It's about, hey, I like math. I like science. Let's play. It's like if you could go to Mythbusters and hang out and blow shit up. That's what we do. And there's a lot of people out there that want to be able to build stuff and, and need a mill or a lathe or stuff like that. But that milling machine weighs 3,000 pounds. I mean, it, it, it costs a fortune. The bits for that thing are 20, 30 bucks a piece. And it requires huge power and, and, you know, it's a pain to set up and all that. Normal people don't have this stuff just laying around. I mean, right. there's guys out there with milling machines in their basement. But not a lot of them, comparatively. Not nearly as many as guys that could use it. And they don't open up their basements. They don't share. And the last thing exactly. they're going to do is touch it. <laughs> <laughs> We're a place where you can walk in off the street and say, I want to learn about robots. You know, and maybe you're a Western student majoring in journalism, and you think robots are cool, and you want to learn about it. Not enough that you want to get a degree in it, but you want to learn about it. You come here. Mm -hmm. You can walk in off the street and say, I want to learn about robots, and we'll let you play with a giant industrial robot. And here's a controller and the manuals and software, and let's sit down and learn about it. And my job is to give you a safe, eventually warm, comfortable place to do that so that you're not going to hurt yourself and you're not going to hurt the machine. And beyond that, it's all you. Yeah. There's no tests, there's no degrees, we are not an accredited degree granting institution. We're a place to play and explore and that's, that's it, that's the end goal is to play and have fun. But we get large amounts of stuff donated, some stuff we buy. Um, that I bought, that I bought, everything else in the room is donated. We just got this last week from Jen, it's a thousand dollar drill press. Hey, Sam, this one. Thank you. <laughs> They're sending us a sander next week. But in this room, there's $200,000 worth of tools. Just what you see. And the room's empty. We just started putting it together two days ago. And you'll notice the lights are powered by extension. <laughs> so it's just coming together. This room, by the way, used to be pink. They mixed magenta ink in there. You ever see toner? Like the powder?